I wrote this book for three different audiences. The first audience are anyone who grew up in a home that was primarily silent or silent and shaming around sex and sexuality. And for those people, the reason that I did that is because if you trace the story of that silence back, you're going to eventually find someone in your family of origin or grandparents or great grandparents where the reason for that silence and shame had probably something to do with religion. The second audience are people who actually experienced the evangelical purity movement and it had a negative effect on their life. And I want them to understand what was happening historically in the church and that it wasn't meant to be that way. I want them to hear the sex positive stories that are really there in scripture. And I want them to see that there's a way to heal and I want them to feel encouraged and to know how to heal. So that's my second audience. My third audience are practitioners, therapists, physical therapists, um, and physicians. And by therapists, I mean psychologists, social workers, marriage and family therapists, all of that different ilk. The reason for that is uh, all the different therapists, they'll go to school from anywhere from three to five or six years, and they cover an enormous amount of information, but you can't cover everything. And two areas that don't get covered well for those people that are in graduate school is the area of sexuality and spirituality. And of course, sexual shame lies right there, and religious sexual shame lies right there in, in this, these two areas. So what we have are a lot of practitioners that don't know really how to treat people who come from conservative religious backgrounds and are manifesting the effects of uh, sexual shame and religious sexual shame. So this book actually shows how people are affected, helps them know how to apply treatments that can help them heal, and gives them the cultural competence that they need to be the practitioners that they need to be. So th those are the three audiences I wrote it for.